Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking XD. About to react to this rent free vid. It's titled Love is Blind Season 7 Moments That Make Me Glad I'm Single. I like watching these videos because they let me know if I should watch the season or not. <laughs> so, uh, last time I watched one of these uh, compilations and it made me interested in checking out the full season, and that's what I did, and I enjoyed it. Uh, so, we're gonna see uh, what, what, what moments they show in this comp so I can see if this season is worthy. Let's watch. How's it feel to be engaged? Bruh. Back up. So weird. So how do you feel? She was I don't know how I feel. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. And you don't feel the feet just like? This is uncomfortable. And this is definitely one of the most awkward moments in my life. Oh, yeah, he needs to back up. I hate people trying to get too affectionate too soon. I've never been in a long-term relationship. I've only ever been in a situation ship. Never heard the term situation ship before. It's like a situation you're in with a girl or a guy. Hence the word situation ship. We can't pretend to be in a situation ship later. A girl bar. I've accomplished a lot in life, right? Right. You go to college, you get a job, you get your dream job. Mm -hmm. I made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually okay. quit my job to be here. Okay. I hate lettuce. Oh, boy. I won't eat anything with it on top. Okay. Uh, I'm a big foodie. Love the children. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. My dating history is athletes and rock stars. I could easily deduce any of these guys to fall in love with me. Oh. Some people want to be false babes and make all the money and live their lifestyle. I'm obviously a trophy wife. What was the last thing you tried to cook? A smoothie. I wanted to be a marine biologist for the <gasps> longest time. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I ended up going down the path of being a physicist. Without my phone, I'm like, I need to go back to school because I can't spell sh**. That's not for me. My biggest insecurity is that a girl only wants me, like, for money. Uh, really fortunate to be 30 years old and, like, really not have to worry about money at all. It's something I'm kind of, like, honestly a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, men who say things like that, like, oh, women just want my money, they are the same ones who lead with money. Like he's letting it be known to her that I got money. I'm so thankful. I don't have to. I don't have to do anything. For, I don't have to do much for money because I'm good financially. I got bread, but all these bitches all they all want is my money. That is what you're bringing up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Goofy. We're talking about in general. Meanwhile, we have an art wow. dealer. Wow, wow. I inherited it pretty young. My grandpa got cancer, died. My grandma got cancer, died. My mom got cancer, died. My dad got cancer, and my stepdad got cancer, and I'm an only child. Somebody had to do it. <laughs> I am the chosen one. <laughs> Somebody had to do it. I grew up financially very well off. I'm a rich <laughs> market. Like, I went to a country club, I went to private school, and to college. Yeah. I'm incredibly financially fortunate. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. I really believe that I'm like a unique, special person. Oh. You can wear this watch if you're like a fucking like, CEO or a lawyer. Britney's gonna be expensive. <laughs> I have money. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. You haven't like asked me like a million things I about my job. Like some people are like, so what's the most expensive piece of art you sold? And it's like, I understand wanting to know that because it's like inherently interesting. It's like, you just don't meet an art dealer oh every day. God. I don't want like, my job to ever define me. How would you split the bills? Would it be 50-50? I do like the thought of both of us paying something because it feels like we're both invested. No, oh, <laughs> not Mr. Rich Man. Last relationship I was taken care of 100%. Sparkle, sparkle. Why are you here? Like, why did you want to do this? I want something sincere. I want something genuine. You say all the right things. Every time I ask you a question, you articulate it great. You explain your feelings to me. Why can't you just go with that? There's like this like gut feeling. I'm so glad I'm over that boy. He's just so smooth. I think of my life. Yeah, that man is not full of shit. Do I want to marry someone who's naturally flirtatious? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. I just heard his name a lot in the last 24 hours. And yeah. He's a fun, he's a fun time. How are you still talking to him? You're gonna like cut him loose at some point, right? And then you know what you gotta do. Yeah. I technically hold the title of being a cheater. Wait, wait. I basically <laughs> slid into a girl's DMs like a dumbass. We were flirting with intention. I got caught. I was very disappointed with myself. I'm sorry. And there was a lot of... Wait a damn minute. I'm sorry. And there was a lot of... Wow. I think that you were like too hard on yourself. <gasps> Three years ago, Take my sister sense. does an Ancestry.com. Interesting, interesting. Most of it is Nigerian, Congolese, wow. Sierra Leonean, and primarily a lot of West Africa. Wow, 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 wow. I have identified as white my whole life. Yeah. You know, I pretty much thought I was, you know? And yeah. And it turns out I'm not even Italian. Dang. That's 
just tunnel. The other guy, I'm saying, like, like I love that man. Do you feel like that I wasn't committed to you? Or do you just genuinely feel a stronger connection with your other match? I'm so into you. Hannah, I felt like... I want you. Like, what would you say if I asked you to marry me right now? Please give me an answer. I'm just tortured sitting over here, like, oh willing to tear God, my God, hair out. Him. Is he the best person for you? Or is he just the first person to tell you I love you? We're not the kind of people that get validation easily. There was no chill. Zero chill. A few moments later. I'm so in love with you, Brittany. Lies, lies, and more lies. And lies on top of lies. I tried to start writing a sweet letter full of love. I feel like our connection has been tainted by your words to someone else. When I saw all the girls this morning, I feel like they think I'm settling for you. Emotional, damn it! I'm still gonna tell you that I love you. Like, I love you so much. Please. What if the reveal you don't like what you see? Or, like, what, what if, if you like... don't like what you see? Marry me. And the pause describes himself as like a football player, like bigger, medium build, Ooh. like 5'11. I don't think it's really truthful. <laughs> How's it feel to be engaged? Bruh. Oh, weird. So how do you feel? I don't know how I feel. I'm not sure what to do with my hand. I don't feel like you could say that. This is uncomfortable. And this is definitely one of the most awkward moments in my life. Hey. Wait. This is the most awkward moments in my life. Hey. Brittany and Leo were not one of the six couples chosen by producers to continue their journey in Mexico. <laughs> They did not even want to document y'all y'all relationship anymore. That's embarrassing. They took their own trip to Miami and broke off their engagement weeks later. I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? Okay. I do. I like it. I really want to take it off of you. She wants to have sex tonight. I'm good to go. I'm waxed and everything, baby. What did he say? Oh. Break what you mean, because no. you would have hated me. And people like, he is not that nice. What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I look nice to y'all. Hey, y'all didn't give me a reason to be nice. Yeah. There's nothing no one can tell me. Okay. No, please do not get my hat. It's a good sun hat. Is there a mirror over here somewhere? I don't feel it at all. I love it. I love that you know. I hate your taste. I'm busting inside that. In fashion. Good. Why do you hate all my style so? I just love picking on, picking on you. If it is not someone what? that I would like walk up to and be like, you are the hottest guy here and I want to like take off your clothes. Ooh. I think he's the hottest guy ever because I'm in love with him. Right. Nick D. In the pod. BD. BD. I said a couple times, he better be really bright <laughs> hot. And he's cute. He's very small. I'm not like a jealous person. Yeah. We're having like an intimate moment. And then like there was like these ducks over there. And I was like, Nick was like, I'm gonna go ride that duck. And, like some like older woman did it with him. She's like, let's race, baby. And then Nick was like, yeah, baby, let's race. And then I was like, Nick, Nick. The girl was like, oh, looks like your girl, just a jealous little. Oh. Yeah, and Nick just laughed. That's not very respectful. Yeah, I would have laughed at Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's jealous. Don't be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I hopped on the horse. She want like some older woman wanted to ride it with me. We did it for five yards. And she was pissed about it. Bro. And there's like a list of like ten bullet points on a note card of what what she's questioning. But a woman's not gonna treat. I treat. And you're just, like I, I, sitting there giggling. You know how it would make me feel that. We do get jealous. That means nothing. That was so like irrelevant. Really? Really? You have all your life to like flower her, literally. I'm gonna flower her and deflower her. What did he say? Thank you. Tell me everything. What do you think? And here we go. The girls were supporting each other. It was such a nice validation. You have been at the top of my list since the first day. Okay. We need to make moves for the future. This is how we should plan things out. Don't stress so much about the future. One eternity later. Because all it does is sort of wipe each other again. Literally cannot get a word in. I'm so sorry. All I know is I'm we just like left this party. Suddenly the energy is off. Right. And I'm asking you what's wrong, and like, I'm not getting much back. You did this for what? Why not? Why? Why not? 
<laughs> Why? The only thing I could think about was going back to the room, taking like a long <laughs> shower, and going to bed. I felt very shunned in the moment. Okay. I couldn't You're complete like a sentence without it getting cut off. I started to feel very, very disrespected. When I covered your mouth, I feel like that made it even worse. No shit. You were assuming a lot of things of how I felt and what was going on in my mind. It literally just like irritated me so much because I'm just like, I don't know how to talk to you right now. And this is how really? I felt. Really? She's explaining it to you. Yeah, I'm just saying really. You just kept yelling and you're just like, okay, speak, speak, speak. I felt belittled. Apologize for how things happen, but you can't talk and listen at the same time. And I started talking and I kept getting cut off. So I was like, okay, I'll stop, but please speak. What you think is disrespectful is different from what I think is disrespectful. You were very in my face. I don't take some of the things that were implied about me and my character lightly. And I do not take being called anything but my name lightly. Oh, okay. So where does this leave us? I'm not sure. When I came in here, I came with the full intention that this was probably gonna be the last conversation we ever had. Oh my God. I absolutely don't want to watch this. All of these people seem very annoying. This irritated me. <laughs> so do I want to watch a full season of this? Absolutely not. So shout out to Murphy for uh you know providing this compilation because child, child, I'm good. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks.